Did you know that since the early church, women have been very active in missions? Unfortunately, this fact is not widely documented. Most of these courageous women remain unnamed and unknown. So let me tell you of a few women who shaped missions history. Paula lived in Rome during the 4th century. She helped the church father Jerome to establish monasteries. She became the head of all the women's monasteries of that time. And she also initiated and helped Jerome to translate the Bible from Hebrew and Greek into Latin. Rebecca Proton was born a slave on the island of St. Thomas in the 18th century, but she was freed when she was a teenager. She later joined the Moravian missionary movement and became one of the leaders of that ministry on the same island of St. Thomas. During the 19th century, Hudson Taylor established the China Inland Mission with a radical policy. He sent small teams of unmarried women into China's interior, all on their own. These women became known as the Bible women, and they had a profound impact on the growth of the church among women, especially in China and Korea. Then there was Lilia Strotter. She and two other women went to Algeria as missionaries. The, the group soon grew to seven workers and became known as the Algiers Mission Band. Trotter became the leader of this group and within only a few years they grew to 30 full-time missionaries ministering among the Muslims in Algeria. Lastly, I want to tell you about Evelyn Hathcock who went with her husband to the mission field, now listen to this, at the age of 65 in the 1980s. While they were living in Cambodia, many monks became followers of Jesus because of her love for them and her love for Jesus. She died on the mission field at the age of 94. Did you know that today women outnumber men on the mission field by a ratio of at least 2 to 1? And of all single missionaries, over 80% are women? Do these women inspire you? I hope so. Why don't you do Didasco's Missions 101 course and learn more about these and other heroes of the faith? Maybe you are called to become a missionary too. Maybe it's time you say, Here am I, Lord, send me.